Podcasting is way more work than most people think it is. It's rewarding and it's fun, but it takes a lot of effort to make a good show, which is why I'm always looking for ways to improve my workflow when it comes to podcasting. So in today's video, I want to show you three one-click tools that you can use in order to make your life easier so that you can focus on the fun part of podcasting, not the boring part. And all three of these are from the sponsor of this video, Riverside. Now, because Riverside is sponsoring this video, I'm not actually giving you a review of it. What I am giving you is an overview of a few of their more recent updates. And these updates are going to save you tons of time. And if you decide to try Riverside after watching this video, I have an affiliate link down in the description that will give you an exclusive discount. I've been podcasting for a long time now, and one thing that I never really paid close enough attention to is the show notes. I would record the podcast and I would edit it, but the show notes for the listeners and the viewers was usually you know, just a couple of lines mentioning what we discussed at best, or I have to be honest, a lot of times it was the same few links over and over again. That's a bad idea because having relevant keywords in your show notes can improve your podcast's search engine optimization or SEO. If you spend a bunch of time talking about the latest gadget from Apple, for instance, and it isn't in your show notes, well, people are less likely to see your podcast about that in those search results. But I hate writing show notes, which is one of the reasons that I use Riverside. You can turn your conversation into detailed show notes in just one click. Here, let me show you how. After you've finished recording, and if your podcast is at least five minutes in length, all you're going to need to do is right below your preview, you'll see this button right here. All you have to do is click generate show note, and after a couple of minutes or sometimes just seconds, you'll have tons of information to share with your audience. Riverside looks at your entire conversation and finds the most important information to help your podcast get found. It'll be broken into the following categories. Summary, keywords, takeaways, titles, sound bites, and chapters. I generally will just copy the summary and takeaways and do some light editing just to kind of make it feel more like something that I would say. I also like to put the summary generated by Riverside just so that people looking at it know that it was written by AI, even if I did edit it a little bit. I tend to look at the titles and the sound bites and categories in order to find a good title for the episode. So on this episode, we talked about handheld gaming system and the D-pad wasn't, it wasn't great for certain types of games. A title like, the D-pad fails the contra test real bad is likely to get clicked on for a few reasons. People that like that particular controller will click because they want to see how wrong you are. People that agree with you will click because they're looking for confirmation on their opinion. And people that are curious about the controls but don't quite know what the contra test is might click on it for that. The thing to keep in mind is that that's actually a phrase that was said during the episode of the podcast and Riverside identified that, pulled it out and highlighted it so that you don't have to remember everything that was said. It's a really fantastic system. Now, if you follow my recommendation and put your podcast on YouTube, there are also is a keywords section. YouTube specifically says that keywords don't really do anything to help your content get seen, which is why 99% of the time I ignore them. But if Riverside is going to do all the work to give me a list of keywords to help SEO, and I didn't have to think of them at all, then I just copy and paste these because it's so easy, then absolutely, why wouldn't I? The last section is timestamps. This is based on what you said in the show and when you said it. They tend to be a little bit long-winded for chapter titles, so I tend to change them, but the time codes are already there, so I don't have to go looking for when we changed topics. It makes, it makes putting your show notes together and giving your audience a guide to your episode super easy and there's just way less work for me to do at the end. The next one click feature is the silence remover. The silence remover can get rid of long periods of dead air. I don't know about you, but there've been a lot of times, there've been so many times that I've been sitting there listening to a podcast and suddenly dead air hits. My first reaction is, oh, did my headphones run out of battery or is something wrong with my stuff only to have the podcast suddenly come back to life after a couple of seconds and scare me to death? 
Before Riverside, I would have to look at the waveforms when editing the podcast, and I'd have to go through and find all of those silences myself in order to get rid of it. But in Riverside, it's so much easier. All you have to do is click on the AI producer button at the top of the screen, and then click set pace. This will get rid of those quiet points of dead air. For example, you're mid recording and somebody has to take a break for whatever reason. Everyone's gone for a few minutes while you wait, but that leaves like a three minute gap in your show. In the past, you'd have to find that yourself. With set pace, all you have to do is decide how much dead air is too much dead air. If I leave it on original, nothing is removed, but Natural will remove any dead air that's three seconds or more. Here you can see that it'll remove about two pauses of roughly eight seconds. If I wanna be more aggressive with the dead air, I can switch to balance, which will remove 31 individual pauses for a savings of one minute and three seconds off my runtime. Fast in this nearly two hour podcast will remove 111 pauses, saving me three minutes of runtime. And super fast will remove 11 minutes from the show, getting rid of nearly 1200 pauses. Whenever I use set pace, I almost always stick with natural. But if you're using Riverside to turn your long form content into short form content, then you can experiment with the more aggressive tools. Once you've selected the pace that you wanna use, you can see where exactly those pauses are in the automatically generated transcript. Then click apply and they'll all get removed. Don't worry, it's non-destructive. You can always go back and fix anything that like maybe it cuts off a word or something like that. You can always fix that in post or you can change your mind later and bring all those pauses back. Now you've probably noticed these dots and squiggles. The dots are the pauses that I already talked about. The squiggles are filler words and you can get rid of those as well. All you have to do is click on the AI producer button again, only this time instead of clicking set pace, you can click smooth speech. And Riverside is going to go through and find all of your ums and your ahs and it's going to erase them. Here is the same segment of the podcast with each pace selected so you can see how it looks and hear how it sounds. And the one at the end is with the filler wor words removed as well. I'll shut up so you can hear it. And afterwards, I'll share a bonus tip. Yeah, uh, so there are a couple of things. Well, first of all, uh, ergonomics wise, I still think that the Steam Deck is way, way better than the ROG Ally X when it comes to ergonomics. Mm -hmm. That being said, they went from like, I, I think in my video, I have like a scale of you know, this is a one, this is a two, this is a five of like ergonomics. And uh, the, the original ROG Ally, I think I put it a two. Yeah, uh, so there are a couple of things. Well, first of all, uh, ergonomics wise, I still think that the Steam Deck is way, way better than the ROG Ally X when it comes to ergonomics. Mm -hmm. That being said, they went from like i i think in my video i have like a scale of you know this is a one this is a two this is a five of like ergonomics and i the the original rog ally i think i put it a two yeah uh, so there are a couple of things well first of all uh, ergonomics wise i still think that the steam deck is way way better than the rog ally x when it comes to ergonomics mm -hmm. that being said they went from like i i think in my video i have like a scale of you know this is a one this is a two this is a five of like ergonomics and i the the original rog ally i think i put it a two yeah uh, so there are a couple of things well first of all uh, ergonomics wise i still think that the steam deck is way way better than the rog ally x when it comes to ergonomics that being said they went from like i i think in my video i have like a scale of you know this is a one this is a two this is a five of like ergonomics and i the the original rog ally i think i put it a two yeah so there are a couple of things well first of all uh, ergonomics wise i still think that the steam deck is way way better than rog ally x when it comes to ergonomics that being said 
they went from like i i think in my video i have like a scale of you know this is a one this is a two this is a five of like ergonomics and uh the the original rog ally i think i put it a two and now for that bonus tip get together with your guests and have a phrase that you wouldn't normally say by accident but you can use to find something you want removed from the show for instance sometimes my guests and i are talking about stuff that is under embargo so if we're talking about something that we can't actually say publicly we'll say fuzzy boots then when i'm editing the podcast i just do a search in the transcription for fuzzy boots the tr transcription's automatically generated and fuzzy boots comes up in the search i can find where i need to cut something out of the show one thing is for sure, it, there has never been a better time to start a podcast. Riverside makes it incredibly easy. And remember to use my code below for an exclusive discount. But let's say that you're already using Riverside and you're thinking, what gear do I need in order to make my podcast the absolute best it can be? If that's the case, then you probably want to check out this video right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.